Now, in the bigger picture, no one Beavers player has made a bigger splash than Oregon State pitcher Jorge Reyes. As a rookie last season, Reyes stepped up and stepped into the starting rotation, played well enough to eventually be named the most outstanding player at the College World Series. Now, in stark contrast, yesterday, in his second start of the season, Reyes gave up seven runs in the very first inning. It's all part of the game. Earlier today, we had a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with Jorge Reyes. Hey, George, thanks for taking the time to join us. I really appreciate it. I know you probably don't want to talk about yesterday, but I just want to get it out of the way. You didn't have your best outing of the year. How do you handle defeat? Because baseball, it's exactly that. It's a game of defeat. For a little kid out there who might be a Beavers fan, what, what kind of lesson process do you go through? It's it's something I have to throw throw behind me. You know, uh, obviously it wasn't my best outing, but it's a it's a learning experience, and uh, I can learn a lot from it. You know, I, uh, next outing hopefully I can understand the things I should have done uh, as far as getting to first base. And I mean, to little kids, you know, it's it's gonna happen. Baseball, if you fail seven out of ten times, you're uh, gonna be a Hall of Famer probably. So it's nothing to worry about. Uh, just learn from it and hopefully try to go out there and. Uh, do well the next time out. Well, on a positive note, the Beavers take two of three this weekend. Describe the atmosphere there at PGE Park because this is the first time you guys have ever done this thing. Was it in any way sort of similar to the atmosphere in Omaha? I, I know obviously the stakes weren't as high, <laughs> but was it kind of the same type of big crowd type atmosphere? Uh, I felt it was better because there was uh, 12,000 Oregon State Beaver fans here. And in Omaha, you know, had a, a lot of people that were just there to watch baseball. But here, you know, it's our own, it's our home crowd. And it was really exciting for me. That's one of the things that affected me yesterday. I was uh, maybe too pumped up because all these people were here and I uh, didn't want to let them down. And, I mean, uh, some bad things happen, but it, it was, it definitely compares to it because it's, it's a tight series, it's a really tight series, it's important for us, and uh, winning two out of three was a big thing, you know, I'm actually happier after this Sunday than I was after last Sunday after I got a win because we lost two out of three, and this Sunday we won two out of three, so, I'm, I mean, I got a loss, but our team got a win, so it's, it's a good weekend. How much does it say about the Beavers program and where this team is that you can get a, a, an established baseball team like Georgia to come all the way across the country in, in late February, early March to play the Beavers? Uh, it's, it's really interesting, actually, because, I mean, last year we were on the road 23 of our first games, and this year people want to come to Oregon State. They want to come play us. Uh, you know, they want to play the Beavers. So it, we've come a long way, and this program is definitely on a rise, and it's, it's, I like it a lot because it brings those kind of teams over here, and it's really fun to play them. You had, obviously, an amazing rookie season at Oregon State last year. What was your process heading into this year? I mean, I would imagine in some ways you got to have to put things in perspective and, and, and restart everything because, on one hand, you can't expect to win a College World Series title every year. On the other hand, that's the goal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of tough. You know, I, I got here and uh, we won the College World Series. It's, you can't expect anything less. You know, you really don't want to go downhill. So it's it's going to be a tough run, but the, the College World Series is definitely on our mind. And if, I think if we take it one game at a time and uh, do the things we're supposed to do, it's going to be fun and uh, we should be able to get there. It is a little different when, the, I mean, the new team, you know, Darwin's gone, uh, Mitch is gone. So we're, st we're still trying to bond as a team, you know, uh, build that Beaver family back up. But I think once we once we settle in, uh, we'll go give it a run again. Well, I can't let you go without talking about the emotional freedom technique. A lot of people learned about that for the first time during the College World Series last year. It's a technique that you guys learned to sort of uh, to calm yourselves during during games. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and sort of its role with your with your game day preparation type? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Coach Coach Spencer last year, our pigeon coach, uh, had a guy Greg Warber. He came in and uh, he he taught us these uh, this new acupunctural tapping stress reliever thing. He he wanted to teach us to just kind of calm us down. And uh, I mean, I'm a really superstitious guy, and I started off doing it as a superstition. And then I mean, I felt good when I was pitching, so I just I kept doing it. Uh, he has points, you know, the, the chest right here, uh, when I tap that, it's supposed to calm me down and keep me just uh, control, you know, give me a little extra energy so I won't be tired when I go back out. And everything has, I mean, a certain, I, I don't think I even remember them all, I just know that I do it because it, I think it works out for me. But uh, it's just supposed to center your body and uh, give you energy, so I thought I could take any help I, I can get. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think at this point you can't argue with it, uh, seeing that you guys won the College World Series. Hey, Jorge, thanks for uh, taking the time to join us. We really appreciate it, and good luck from here on out during the season. No problem. Thank you.